Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy Nuts, and welcome to Mass Effect Andromeda. We're gonna today. We're gonna do the firefighters quest. So we're gonna head to Kadara and see if we can't find this uh, hacker collective. So heading back to the Gavorkum system, and uh, well, back to Kadara because we haven't really explored the entire station there yet. And uh, I'm guessing there's gonna be quite the, the interesting quests over there. Welcome so uh, some Krogan hero. hero. Maybe they named the system after him because of the nebula. That bit there looks like a Krogan. I don't know. I see it. Okay then. So that was a bit of uh, backstory into the name of this system. Now orbiting Gadara. And uh, let's land. There we go. Right back in Kadara. Um, let's take a look around because I think oh, we can use the fast travel station. To get uh, closer to the hacker collective, yeah. Take ooh, oh. So the hackers are not in Kadara themselves, in the outpost itself. That is interesting because I still have this quest active, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, let's take the lift to the slums, and I suppose. So I'm taking a uh, PB and Drac. Just to have, I think BB is the closest to a hacker that we kind of have in our team. And then Drac, of course, because Kadara is filled with Krogan. Um, we need to go far away, apparently. So I'll guess I'll see you guys in a second. PB. PB. Yes, Drac? Just trying to come up with a nickname. Your name rhymes with Sightsee. Gutsy. PB's already a nickname. No shit. What's it short for? Pelisaria Basale. Ah, oh, PB it is. Pelisaria Basale. I think that's the first time we actually nice hear PB's full name. How high do I need to go here? Can I even go this high with the Nomad? I love this thing. Look at this. Going up. He doesn't give a fuck. Oh. Oh. This must be it then. Hello? Anybody here? This must be the hideout of those hackers who attacked Sam. Everyone, remember. These people think their virus worked. Sam's gone, and I'm on their side. Hmm, if only. Yeah. Problem, Drac? You know I don't like that widget in your head. You'd be better off without it. But that's not my decision. Or the hackers. They don't get to win. Private channel only once we're in, Sam. Okay. Here we go. Every rule set, so uh, let's go inside. Welcome to our sanctuary. I'm Catherine Nye. Night to my colleagues. I wrote the virus that freed you from Sam. I don't know how to thank you. I'm sorry your father did this. The initiative's use of AI could doom us all, and you were the first to suffer. Um, I didn't agree to your help. That's a bit negative. So is Sam dead? Did your virus kill Sam? Sam has been reduced. It's harmless now. I saw the folly of merging humans and AI in the Milky Way, a black ops project called Overlord that created a monster. Many died, my son was hurt, and the young man used as a host was consumed. Every Pathfinder risked the same fate. Wait, that's not true. We eventually saved him in the... Because Overlord is a DLC uh, for uh, Mass Effect 2, in which, indeed, a man was used as a sort of uh, robotic catalyst to start communicating with the Geth and became an all-powerful AI monster. Um, but we freed him from that. I think his name was David. Um, it's not the same thing, though. I'm glad to be free. But Dad designed Sam to work with a human mind. The Corians designed their Geth machines to sweep floors, and they became an unstoppable army. A super-intelligent AI understands our world very differently. Anything might provoke it. Nothing could stop it. Excuse me. I have work to do. Unless you have questions. Why did you join the initiative then? 
If you're afraid of AI, why join an organization that uses it? We needed an escape. I thought the initiative was using shackled AI for research. When I understood it... Well, a firefighter doesn't run away from a fire. Um, and are more Pathfinders at risk or just me because we had an unshackled AI? You think the Pathfinders could be overcome by their AI? Worse. If the initiative thinks the human AI merge works, they might roll it out to everyone. Imagine Sam's power in the hands of people who weren't ready for it. Fair enough, she has a point there. Um, but tell me more about Project Overlord. What more can you tell me about Project Overlord? A black ops experiment by mad scientists to merge a human mind with synthetic intelligence. Their creation was a horror. I paid a heavy price to get my son out. Okay, I do wonder who her son was if we actually met him in the, the DLC there. I shouldn't keep you. Thank you. Don't worry about Sam reconnecting. Our AI detector is always watching. That's... good to know. The virus was a beginning. I'm about to make sure the initiative never repeats its mistake. Okay, scan the sanctuary for clues and find the discreet way to learn the night's plan. AI detector could discern our private channel. However, this may not be true for your scanner. Night's planning something big. That's not good. She's dangerous. Let's find out what's up. Discreetly. So let's not use the scanner then. Let's start uh, by reading a few data pads. Citadel Economics Board Case Report A5. On the subject of 2182 flash crash, nicknamed the Ilium Sinkhole, thousands of stock prices collapsed overnight, destroying the value of approximately 1.2 million personal accounts. Responsibility was later traced to a rogue virtual intelligence developed for the Ilium stock market whose sentience had been illegally modified. Vela Tepajis, a senior white hat hacker at the Bank of Nozastra, gave forceful testimony on the rising use of such VI, which make decisions in milliseconds that affect financial markets across Citadel space, often based on news stories that a non-synthetic stockbroker would know to ignore. As far as the VI knows, it's just moving numbers around. It might even find that personally fulfilling in ways organic life can't understand. But for us, a decimal point can't be the difference between riches and ruin. Indeed. But that doesn't tell me anything about her plan, though. Could try and overhear a few people, talk to a few people here. Uh, do have to be careful not to instinctively... Looks like Knight's personal console. Sam, can you get into it? Yes, but my access will trigger the AI detector. You'll only have one chance. Okay. Okay. Let's wait until we know what we're looking for. Indeed. AI Detector Knight, thank you for the ELISA data. It's so obvious when you run a comparison. The GAT, the SAMs, all our data shows that working AI produce a detectable electromagnetic pattern. It's similar to a brain to brain activity in organic life. Different cases, but a distinct signature. I even tested it against the basic VI. They're not even close. So blattering aside, the answer is yes. All we need is sensors that pick up the EM pattern of an AI operating nearby or interfacing with a Pathfinder implant, and we've got a detector. Child's play. How's your virus coming along? Laveria. So that's the person we can talk to downstairs. Yeah, I know. I know that's that's something. Um, another data pad. Intelligence and introspection from uh, Knight herself. At the sensory gallery on Kitoi Ward, I could step into a booth and artificially experience rain as a Turian feels it. Elsewhere, I could smell like an Elcor or hear like a Drell, but there is no booth where I could think like an artificial intelligence. Try it. Imagine being two or three times as intelligent as you are now. You're likely already approaching the level considered genius for your species. Now keep going. 10 times, 20 times, the mind reels, doesn't it? And you still aren't as intelligent as an AI. Now consider how differently such a mind might perceive and interpret the world, compared to how you understand it. Think how different a sonnet might seem, or a sunset. Then ask yourself, what would such a mind make of our morality? The value of organic life? My lab partners evolved a thousand light years away, but make no mistake. It is the life on our servers which is truly alien. Okay, so yeah, that just confirms how 
against AI knight really is, but feels like we need to talk to Lavaria over here or Lavaria, Lavaria. Hello. Oh, welcome. I'm Lavaria. I'm so glad Knight's virus worked. Do you need anything? Yeah. Um. What brought you here? Why did you join Knight's movement? <laughs> I know. Me, an underground hacker. Back home, I was a concierge on the Citadel. I coded games for my little sisters. They played together, walked to school together. And when those Geth machines attacked the Citadel, the Geth impaled them on spikes. Together. And some people feel sorry for the Geth. That's why I left for Andromeda. And why I joined Knight. Okay, that's as good a reason as any, but it's a really good reason in her case. It sounds like Knight is taking all this to the next level. Oh yes, very soon now. Has she told you anything? Not much. Alain, her son, would know more. Uh-huh, I'm not going to talk to her about the fact that the eyes are not all bad, because then she might be suspicious. See you later, Laveria. Bye. Come by any time. Okay, so her this must son, be tough to hear, Sam. Elaine. Those AI are the product of a different civilization. Ours will be founded on organic synthetic partnership. I bridge the hard earned lessons of the past and the promise of the future. Okay, then. That's actually a good explanation. Sam, so Alain. Hello, sir. You must be Ryder. Alain, my mother's in charge around here. But you're a celebrity. Sorry I can't show you around. I'm stuck sitting here for a few more hours. Oh. Huh. Uh, are you okay? Is something wrong? I'm fine. Just good old Project Overlord. Still kicking me when I'm down. When Mom has... Nope. Can't talk about that. Do you need anything? Um... Uh... I want to know what happened to you in Project Overlord. Anything you can tell me about Project Overlord? Black Ops guys trying to make a VI human hybrid. They hired my mother as a programmer. They told me I was a candidate for the human part. And hey, not like my body was doing me any favors. But my implants got hacked, and Mum said we're leaving. Lucky me. Overlord went downhill fast. Okay. If it's all right, can I ask why you need all these machines? I had a serious infection in my nervous system. I used spinal implants to walk and, you know bathroom stuff. But while my mother was working on Project Overlord, my implants got hacked. They still work. I just have to sync them a few hours a day. Ooh, that sounds like a really, really big time sync. What is Knight's plan? Your mother seems to have plans. Mum's always got plans. A big one's coming up. Nothing else you can tell me? I would. But you just arrived. I learned the hard way. Trust has to be earned. Okay. I've got to go. You know where I'll be. We're not getting anything out of them. Pathfinder, I believe we can fix Alain's implants. I have schematics for an appropriate device. It will require time and resources. Or I could start scanning, but that's risky. Time and resources. We need to make that device in a research center, but... I think the closest research center is probably the Tempest itself, and that's going to take me a while to get back. Um, if I start scanning, they're going to immediately detect everything. Um, or I could try the console. You know what? I'll head back to the Tempest really quickly, and then we'll head back here. And uh, then that should allow us to gain Alan's trust and see if he can't help us further. So uh, give me a second and I'll make that curative wow. device. Cybernetic device. Here we go. Craft. There we go. Now to get back to Kadara. And there we go. Back to uh, Harfell. Let's see uh, if we can't help out Alan's uh, affliction. And gain his trust in the process. Ole, I put a little something together. This should help fix your implants. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, I can feel my nerves waking up. When Mercury goes down, Mum will lose her mind over this. Thank you. Mercury no goes problem, down. I've got to go. 
So there we go. Thank you again. So that's what we needed. Mercury. Um, Mercury. Like a code name for whatever Knight's doing. This will enable me to find any relevant data quickly. Let's there we search go. Knight's console and see what she's up to. Hacking the console. Security protocols breached. Bring up anything tagged Mercury. Files found. Mercury. A strike to prevent any future AI by destroying all quantum computers on the Nexus. Damn it. You could use those computers to create AI, but right now they run half the station. A lot of people could die. We need to stop Knight. Now. But quietly, okay? Okay, locate Knight's EMP devices. Locate EMP devices in the commons area, operations. So we need to get back to the Nexus, that's what's up. So uh, again, quite a bit of travel time for me. Just a few seconds away for you guys. See you in a second. Ryder, this is Kandros. Sam warned us about Knight's attack. Unfortunately, one device triggered already. We lost a chunk of hydroponics. Sorry, Kandros. I had to help someone out. Where's Knight? We're tracking her down, but those devices are still live. I need you to take care of them, quietly. We can't afford panic. So, uh, back at the Nexus, that's why we uh, we lost one uh, bomb already. Which means, uh, that's probably our fault for trying to make that thing. Instead of just going uh, heavy with it. Where do I need to look? Aha, uh -huh. there we go. There's uh, an EMP behind the plant here. You played me. Knight? Yes, me. I let you near my son. You're not stopping this. It's not the best quality. Jesus, she knows about it. Maybe she's gonna set off the last bomb. Hopefully not. Should be an operation, so don't wanna lose that one. Um underneath, yeah. There we go. Ryder, please. The Nexus doesn't need those computers. Uh, and we won't be yeah, we from do. another overlord until they're gone. You don't know that. Yes, I do. I sacrificed everything to stop it. Where the hell are we now going? I thought we already lost one of the bombs. Pathfinder? May I have a word? Yeah, you can have a word after we're done with this. There. Deactivate. Ryder, we cornered Knight, but she's carrying the last of those devices. I have a sniper ready, but she wants to speak to you. We could end this peacefully. Okay, confront Knight. And where is he? Going down and then left. Probably in another area then. We could end this peacefully, so I'm going to have to be careful with what I'm saying. The docking bay. That would be bad for the Nexus is that if that went off. And the EMP right next to our ship. That's not a quantum computer, you bitch. Okay. Where is she? Is she over here? Yeah. Going up. There she is. Let's talk to her. Kandros reports the sniper is ready. Understood, Sam. Sam, such a human name. No one ever listens. Your father built his human AI implant. Overlord went on despite my... So, uh, you feel guilty, clearly. You're trying to bury something. And I think that's what this is really about. I thought Overlord might help my son. They made him a candidate for their butchery. So I sabotaged it. I faked rogue code and ripped him out. Alain was hurt terribly, but he was alive and himself. Not a... First Overlord, then Sam. Horrors. Forced on children. It has to end, even if I must do the unforgivable. Sam was made to heal... Uh... Yeah, because he cured your son. Dad created Sam to help my mother survive a terminal illness. Many terrible things come from good intentions. I should know. Sam and I helped Elaine together. It's going to be alright. 
No, the, 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 the code I made, no one could fix it. Sam did. Stand down and you can ask Elaine yourself. Here, the last device. Thank you. No matter what sentence they give me, I hope Alan will forgive me someday. If Sam really is what you say, perhaps it can forgive me too. Okay, so that's the end of that quest. So, despite us losing one area of the Tempest to one of the EMPs because we took too long uh, since we made that uh, curative device for Alain, um, we did get the option to tell her that, his mother that, so Knight. With that information we convinced her to uh, stand down and give us the bomb, and otherwise probably Kandros should have taken the shot. But uh, yeah, kind of a positive outcome to that quest, and that is the Firefighter's quest. So uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching, because I am going to take a little break. So uh, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube, and if you haven't already, uh, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again, enormously for watching, and I hope to see you next episode. Goodbye.